Hey, Erica Gilchrist here, award-winning speaker, author, and social entrepreneur. And I had to sit down just for a second and address something. In conversations with women, I hear them apologizing for many things, and they should absolutely not apologize. So I came back to my office, and I wrote down the top seven things that women should not apologize for. And I decided to make this video. We're going to count them down. Here we go. Number seven, don't apologize for being single. When did single become synonymous with sad? If you are by yourself right now, whether it's by choice or by chance, so what? Rock out your fabulous self. Number six, don't apologize for crying. A lot of people think that when a woman cries, it's because, oh, she's being too emotional. It's not that. A lot of times women are crying because they're so angry and they're trying to contain themselves. But also, I want you to think of crying as a physical manifestation of emotional pain leaving your body. Why would you want to apologize for that? Number five, don't apologize for expecting more from others. You have worked your butt off to become a better woman. So don't apologize for asking people to step up in order to step in your space. Number four, don't apologize for saying no. No is a complete sentence. Because when you say no to one thing, you're saying yes to yourself. Number three, wearing a weave. Why would you apologize for that? If you want to wear extensions every now and then, or if you want to wear extensions every day, rock it out. So what? Number two, don't apologize for changing your mind. If at one point you thought something was a good idea, and then later on you thought, eh, not so much. It's fine, it's your prerogative. We change our minds all the time and it's not something to apologize for. And number one, don't apologize for failed relationships. Don't say, oh, I'm so sorry, I gave it everything I had and it just didn't work out. You don't say sorry, you say thank you. That toxic relationship is no longer in your life and now, you get to thrive fearlessly as your fabulous self. That was the top seven things women should never apologize for. I thank you all for listening to my list. If this hit home for some of you all, I'm glad. And you can share this with someone. And while you're here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm Erica Gilchrist, award-winning speaker, author, and social entrepreneur. I would love to see you at an upcoming event. And for a list, go to theunstoppablewoman.net forward slash events. And until we speak again, Thrive fearlessly.